So in the previous lecture I told you that a plant begins its life with a seed. Right? And in the case of angiosperms, the seed is covered by a fruit. And I told you why and how. Right? I told you structure of a typical seed. Yes. With an outer seed core, with a test and a temple, baby plant which is called the embryo, radical glimule, root system, shoot system. Okay. Now we have to discuss the parts of a typical root. cell division, region of elongation, and the region of maturation. Have you learned the four regions? Yes. And what I say, these are the regions from the apex towards the base. The first region. That is the region of the root cap. Okay. The root cap is a single layer. It is single layer, multicellular, made up of many cells. So all these cells that I have shown over here, I will highlight them in red. So it is single layer, layer A ki hai, but cells both size. So I am saying it is. Single layer, multicellular structure which protects the delicate region of cell division, nazuk region of cell division. The root cap also secretes mucilage, mucilage, chikat chikat padat, so that when the root is growing in the soil, it will not do friction with the soil particles and can easily penetrate in the soil. The root grow or its tip is a mucilage, the soil is a little bit of friction, the root will easily penetrate the soil. Is it easy to penetrate the soil? Is it easy to penetrate the soil? Is it easy to penetrate the soil? 
I have told you in the last lecture that the roots are positively geotropic. Yeah, then they are positively gravitropic. But the root system ko pata hai ki gravity ka force kaha pe zara. The root cap helps in gravity perception. Just like I'll say that my eyes help in photo perception. Same way. The root cap helps in gravity perception. It helps the root to determine gravity and helps the root to grow towards gravity. And that is under influence of certain hormones. Like just like our body has got hormones, even plant body has got hormones. One of the hormones in plant body is called oxygen. Have you heard of oxygen? Yes. Okay. That hormone helps the root cap. To know where gravity is. I hope you got my point. Now the exception over here is that most of the plants have a single root cap, except few, like a plant called pandanus. It shows the presence of multiple root caps. But the normally a root cap is how many caps? One. Some plants, like pandanus, have multiple root caps. Aquatic plants like Acornia and Pistia. Acornia is called water hyacinth, the terror of Bengal. It does not show the presence of root caps. It shows the presence of root pockets, which helps the root to get some buoyancy, a floating ability in water. Okay, so that is what you remember. About the description of the root cap, that the root cap is present at the apex. Is this point clear, everyone? Yes. Then I said that the root cap is single layered and it is multicellular. Can we yes or no? Yes. yes. It also secretes. What does it secrete? It secretes no, no. It secretes mucilage. Okay, and as a result of which, it will prevent the friction with the soil. So basically, it has the main role of protection. One extra point I told you was gravity perception. Gravity perception. मतलब to determine gravity. So that it can go down. Clear everybody? And the root cap is protecting the next region. That is the region of cell division. Or it is also known as meristematic region. So it can be known by different names. Like it can be called as the region of Cell division, or it is also called as the meristematic region. Okay, this region is made up of young, thin-walled, undifferentiated cells. The cells are young, but they are newly formed. They are thin-walled, but they show the presence of only the primary cell wall, not the secondary cell wall cell structure. They show the presence of only the primary cell wall. Not the secondary cell wall. Okay? And they are undifferentiated cells. Matlab, all the cells are same. There is no division of labor. Matlab, abhi bhi, wo jo cells hai, wo log ne alag alag specialized tissues ka formation nahi kiya hua hai. Sare ke sare cell same. Abhi aap jitne bhi sab bethe ho, sab level 12 need ke students ho. Maybe in 15 years, there will be a cardiologist, a neurologist, a nephrologist. Then I will tell you what you will do. You will be differentiated. Now, what is the same? Same. Similarly, these cells are the same. Now, all the cells are the same. They are the same. They are the same. So, what do we use? They are undifferentiated cells. They don't show division of labor. And they keep on undergoing what? Cell division. Okay? So, the cells in the region of cell division are thin, 
वर्ड अनडिफरेंशिएटेड एंड देर जॉब इज दे कीप ऑन अंडर गोइंग वर्ड ओके जस्ट बिलो दैट द नेक्स्ट रीजन इज द रीजन ऑफ एलॉन्गेशन ओके नो वट दिस रीजन ऑफ एलॉन्गेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दीज सेल्स आर दी सेल्स इन द रीजन ऑफ सेल डिविजन द स्मॉल थिन वर्ल्ड सेल्स कीपिंग ऑनडर गोइंग सेल डिविजन Now what happens is, you must be knowing that the cell wall is made up of cellulose. Give me a yes or a no? Yes. And these cellulose, how are they arranged? They are arranged like a net. Machhar ki jaan ke sir, net. So इसलिए मैंने क्या word use किया? Microfibrils. At this stage, these microfibrils are quite flexible. What my point? So what happens is. You remember that hormone oxy under the influence of oxy and due to entry of water into the cells as the water will enter into the cells the water will exert a pressure on the cell wall so now the cell walls are ex experiencing a very good turgeon pressure this called what is the pressure called turgeon pressure and auxins will loosen up the cellulose microfibrils no cheese here okay ऑक्सीजन ने सेलुलोज माइक्रोफाइब्रिल को थोड़ा क्या कर दिया लूज कर दिया पानी का अंदर क्या हो गया एंट्री हो गया पानी कौन सा प्रेशर एक्सर्ट कर रहा है टर्जर प्रेशर जिसकी वजह से अभी ये जो सेल वॉल है उतनी रही कि स्ट्रेच हो जाएगी मुझे सो व्हेन द सेल वॉल विल बिकम स्ट्रेच व्हाट विल हैपन टू द लेंथ ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल सेल सो ओवरऑल द लेंथ ऑफ द रूट विल आल्सो इंक्रीज दैट इज व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड एज द रीजन ऑफ व्हाट माय पॉइंट देयर the cell enlargement will take place you have to show the word enlargement where the cell will increase in its size that is called a cell enlargement and i told you the logic how it takes place what is the scientific reason oxygen naam ka hormone hai wo cellulose microfibrils ko tight karega ya loose karega bachcho water ka jaise enter aa gaya water andar ghus gaya वाटर ने क्या एक्सर्ट किया टर्जर प्रेशर जिसकी वजह से सेल वॉल क्या होगी एक्सपार्ट हो गई ओवरऑल सेल क्या हो गया एनलार्ज हो गया सो कैन आई से एट दिस रीजन आई विल सी अ इंक्रीज इन द लेंथ ऑफ द रूट एंड आल्सो हेल्प्स इन मिनरल एब्जॉर्प्शन अ स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ मिनरल एब्जॉर्प्शन Okay. Did you get the third region, everybody? And what is that region called? Region of elongation. Where the cell increases in their size. Okay. That is why it is called elongation or enlargement. Okay. What is the fourth region? The region of maturation. Okay. The region of maturation is also the region of differentiation or maturation okay now what do you mean by differentiation division of labor will take place so now the cells will come together to form tissues and these tissues will start performing specific functions so at this particular region i will see the presence of specialized cells Which are called epidermis. What are cells called? Epidermis. It's like the outermost skin of the root, and it gives out thread-like elongations, which is called as a root hair. Okay, and the function of the root hair is to bring about <coughs> absorption of water. and the minerals followed by 
a layer of cells which is called as the cortex followed by a layer of cells which is called as the endodermis and few other layers which I called it as pericycle along with the xylem. Got my point? So if I cut the root at the region of maturation, I am going to see the presence of unicellular outgrowths which are called as root hairs. You understood what I said? What the word I use? I said that they are unicellular outgrowths which are called as root hairs. I have the class followed everybody? Yes. Okay. So, if the question is asked, out of the four regions that are seen, which will be the region best suited to study the tissues under the microscope? Region of differentiation. Question is asked. Question is ये चारों रीजन में से सबसे बेस्ट रीजन कौन सा है अगर आपको अलग-अलग टिश्यूज पढ़ने हैं तो ओके अगर नेक्स्ट टाइम से क्वेश्चन आता है कि व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग रीजन विल बी रिस्पांसिबल फॉर एब्जॉर्प्शन ऑफ वाटर रूट हेयर्स आर प्रेजेंट इन द रीजन ऑफ रूट कैप प्रोटेक्ट्स द रीजन ऑफ फॉर द वेरिस्टिमेटिक रीजन व्हिच रीजन adds new cell to the growing root. Huh? Is it region of cell division or the region of elongation? Cell division. What is the question? Which region adds the new cell? So, what is the question? Cell division. If the question is like, which region increases the length of the root? What is the question? Region of elongation. Do you understand how many questions are there? Basic, it will be easy question as well. A typical root is divided into dash region. 3, 4, 5, 6. 4, 4. Arrange the regions from base to the apex in a correct order. So, what do you mean? Yes or no? Yes. Clear all of you? Yes. Any examples when the root cap Yes, people. Any example where the root cap is not single? There is multiple root caps. Don't try to be people. You laugh. Sorry. Or root pocket ke na? Yes, people. Pandanus ka pandanus. Pandanus example ki diya na mere. It was an exception that the pandanus shows the presence of multiple root. Caps and then I give you the example of Echornia and Cystia as an example for absence of root caps but the presence of root pockets. pockets. Think. Did you all follow my point, everyone? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Pakka. Now, you remember the radical? Yes. All of you remember the radical? Yes. The radical develops into a primary root. What does the radical develop into? Primary root. Primary root. And this primary root is long lived, it doesn't die immediately, it is long lived and it results in the formation of secondary roots and the secondary roots give out which roots which root? tertiary roots ok so now I have a primary root which has given rise to secondary roots and the secondary roots have formed the third order of the roots, that is tertiary roots. Okay? So, such a root system which develops directly from the radical 
such a root system which develops directly from the radical shows the presence of primary secondary and tertiary <laughs> is called as a tap root system what about it tap root system understood what is a tap root system so so how will we define a tap root system it's a root system which develops directly from the radical it shows the presence of primary root okay clear everyone yes. okay and if you look over here can i say that the younger roots are at the apex and the older roots are towards the base is this apex or is it the base apex, apex. so younger roots are towards the Yes. And older roots are towards the yes. base. Such an arrangement of roots is called as acropetal succession. क्या होता है इसको? Acropetal succession. समझ लो आप सबको? Okay. So one of the characteristic features of a tap root, number one, it arises. From the radical, direct. Yes or no? Yes. Second is, it shows the presence of primary root, secondary root, and tertiary. And the third is, it shows the presence of an acropetal succession. And what do you mean by acropetal succession? Younger roots are towards the apex, and older roots are towards the base. That is called acropetal succession. Clear, everybody? Yes. Okay. The tap root system. So you know, angiosperms have got two groups: dicots and monocots. Yes. I have discussed this with you before, also. right? So, tap root system is found mainly in dicots and gymnosperms. Where do you find them mainly? Dicots and gymnosperms. Four points. Suppose you understand. Acropetal means what? Acropetal means? Acropetal means what? Older to the base. Older to the base. Are you familiar with everybody? Yes. Okay. Now, have you seen a bryophyllum leaf? Which one? Which in Marathi is called pan footi. Bryophyllum leaf. Okay, it's a succulent, fleshy leaf, green, fleshy, mango, and its juice is taken to cure kidney stones. Okay, let me show you. चलेगा नहीं नहीं चलो खिलाने नहीं वाला नहीं इसको juice पिला रहा है। तो you remember that? Look at the margin of the leaf. This is the margin of the leaf. And you see there are some roots which are developing from the margin of the leaf. So in this case, the roots have developed from radical or parts other than the radical. So can you see they develop from the leaf? Give me a solo. Such a root. Is called adventitious root system. What do you call it, guys? Adventitious root system. Adventitious root system. So, adventitious root system is a root system that develops from radical or parts other than the radical. Parts other than the radicals. Have you seen the banyan tree, guys? Yes. What is the banyan tree called in Marathi? अच्छा रहता है, नाम करके रखते हैं, उम्र आता है, दिया, है ना? So, do you see those hanging roots? Yes. क्या लेसे दिया वाला है जब proper radical? 
So they wrote arises from the radical, na? Wo log ki pehle is radical se? It has arisen from parts. So they come under which root system? Everyone has followed this one. Yes. So what's an adventitious root system? An adventitious root system is a root system that develops from parts other than the radical. Give me a yes or no? Yes. There is no primary root, secondary root, or a tertiary root. There is no acropetal succession and is found mainly in homochiro monocots. Okay? It is mainly found in monocots and it can be also found in super. Peridot Okay? And other than absorption of water, an adventitious root performs many specialized functions. Did you get my point, everybody? Yes. Okay. Okay. In the case of grasses, okay, as well as in the case of few plants like say wheat, etc. The primary root is short limb. How is the primary root? Short limb. the radical develops into a primary root, but the primary root is short limb. Matlab it will die very early. As a result of which, from the base of the cell, many thread-like roots arise, which, which look like fibers. Arising from the base of the stem. Such a root system is a specialized root system which is called as fibrous root system. Okay? So, fibrous root system develops from the base of the stem when the primary root is short lived. It dies early. So, to give support. Absorption of water from the base of the stem arise fibrous, okay, thread-like root system, which is called as a fibrous root system. Yes, okay. So we we have seen an adventitious root system, fibrous root system, and a tap root system. What my point? A fibrous root system is seen. Only in monocots. A fibrous root system is seen only in monocots. So, what are the two things that we just now covered? We spoke about the regions of the root. From the apex to the base, there are cell division ka region, elongation ka region, maturation ka region. Root hair, what is region ka characteristic feature? Maturation. And here we have described about the different types of root systems. Tap root system, fibrous root system, and the adventitious root system. Which root system develops from parts other than the radical? Which root shows acropetal succession? What is acropetal succession? You copy it down fast, which one? Any questions? Three yeah. It's fine, it's again not a lot of time. What are the two types of root system? Tap root system. The root system which develops only from the radical is called tap root system. Other than absorption of water and minerals. Both a tap root as well as a adventitious root can get modified to perform special functions. First is what? Food storage. Okay. Understand in this manner now. It's a conceptual thing. 
Now we have, say, a carrot plant. This is an imaginary one. And this is its primary root. You know primary root? Yes. The conditions are favorable. <coughs> By favorable condition means that there is light, water, sufficient things. So the rate of photosynthesis will be very high. The plant will produce glucose and will store it in the form of complex carbohydrates. Now what happens is, this complex carbohydrates get stored in the primary root. As a result of which, can I say the primary root has become swollen because of storage of food? And as the season changes and the conditions become what? Unfavorable. The whole plant will die. Pura plant ke avalega vuchilo? Marishai. But what is surviving? Inside vuchilo? Carrot. With the return of the favorable conditions, it will result in the formation of a new plant. So can I say, it has helped the plant to overcome unfavorable conditions? That is called perination. And with the return of the favorable conditions, it has resulted in the formation of a new plant that is called as vegetative propagation. So why does a carrot or a sweet potato or a potato produce all these structures so that it will help that particular plant to overcome the unfavorable conditions. So a potato ka jhaad, potato kyu banata hai? Ya a gajar ka jhaad gajar kyu banata hai? Ko halwa banane ke liye? Nahi. Wo apne aap ko unfavorable conditions ko survive karne ke liye banata hai. Ta ki fir se jab conditions kya ho jayegi? Favorable, wo se kya karega? Vegetative propagation. Aapko concept samjha hai sabko? Yes or no? So tell me. Why do the plant parts store the food? Or why do the roots store the food? The reason is what which you Two words I have mentioned over What are they? Perination and vegetative propagation. What is perination? To survival in unfavorable conditions. And with the return of the favorable condition to produce a new plant. Now depending upon the shape that is taken by the primary root. If the primary root is swollen at the base and it gradually tapers then the shape is called as conical so such a root is called as a conical root ok and those green leaves are the stem and those leaves are called as radical leaves and you will find thin secondary and tertiary roots on the primary root ok so Dacus carota that is your common carrot is an example of conical root because the primary root is swollen at the base and it gradually tapers. What is the second type? Fusiform root where the shape is fusiform. We have used this term Bachelo, in spindle, I think so, in our chapter, which chapter Bachelo, muscular tissue. Look at the shape. Can I say it is swollen in the middle? Yes. But it tapering towards both the ends? Yes. So that shape is called which shape? Fusiform. Fusiform shape. An example of that would be radish. That is Raphanus sativa. Pronounce below. Raphanus sativa. Raphanus sativa. Raphanus sativa. Dacus scarota. is carrot. Raphael Sadaiwa is radish. The third type, who is it? Nepiform roots. Here, see. They are swollen at the base, but they suddenly taper. Look at the shape. It is swollen at the base, but it suddenly tapers. That shape is called which shape? Nepiform shape. Example is what? Beta vulgaris. Okay. And when the shape is irregular, or there is no definite shape, the shape is going to be what you know as an irregular, upward forward, irregular shape. Then that is called as tuberous root. Okay, not sweet potato. 
I am talking about tap roots. And here it is, Mirabilis Jalaka. Can I ask you? Mirabilis Jalaka. The genetics may be on that way. It's an unrecognized kind of Mirabilis Jalaka, which is called four o'clock plant. Four o'clock plant. Four o'clock plant. Because it produces flower at four o'clock. What my point? Yeah. Now, so what are, what are the different for food storage? Different examples of food storage? Cortical, fusiform, natiform, fibrous. And this classification is based on the dash. dash, dash. Shape of the primary root. This classification, hey Babu, what is kya matlab kya? No reactions like this, huh? we both know. When I said this classification is based upon shape of the roots, but the conical, fusiform, nephiform, tuberous. When I said char other types were divided here, or when I criteria for the classification, ka, shape of the root. If the shape of the root, primary root is conical, conical. Tapering towards the end, fusiform. Swollen at the base, tapering, nephiform. And irregular in shape will be yes. fibrous. Okay? So the first type of taproot system is for food storage. And what is the job? It helps in food storage. So it can do what? Perination and vegetative propagation to overcome unfavorable conditions. And in the return of the favorable condition, it will form a new plant. अब वो primary root कौन सा shape लेता है food storage की वजह से तो आपको कितने types मिलेंगे चार shapes के हिसाब से okay gradually tapers conical swollen at the middle tapering towards the end fusiform suddenly tapers nephiform irregular in shape is fibrous did you get it everybody the second type over there what have we written there for gaseous Stage. Okay. Now, there we have written a type of roots which are called as nematophores. But listen to this explanation. There are some plants which are called halophytes. What are the word use? Halophytes. Phytes means plant. Halophytes are those plants who grow in marshy, saline, Water, kichar, which is marshy and it is saline. Marshy means the whole kichar wali area. Saline means which means salt or zada hai. And because of high salinity, they have low oxygen. I have got my point. These plants, their common name is in English they are called as mangroves, or it is called sundri. That is why you have got sugar buds. These are forest of mangroves found in Bengal. Bengal. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So those plants normally they show the presence of a tap root system. This is a plant with which root system? But where are they growing? How is the soil above them? And water? It is marshy and it is saline. So the roots will not be able to breathe. Gaseous exchange nahi ho paaya. So some of the roots, they become positively phototropic, like conical spines. How do they become? Chalo? Positively phototropic. Yeah, what do you say? Positively phototropic. Phototropic. Like what? Chalo? Conical spines. Got it? And such roots are called as Pneumatophores. What do you call them? Pneumatophores. Pneumatophores. Understood? So pneumatophores are positively phototropic. But they grow towards sunlight. And they show the presence of openings on them. These openings are called lenticels. Tell us go. Lenticels. And these lenticels helps in gaseous exchange. So, कुछ plants कीचड़ में grow होते हैं, जिसमें नमक वाला पानी होता है। 
तो उनके नॉर्मल रूट्स ऑक्सीजन और दूसरे गैसेस को एक्सचेंज नहीं कर पाते तो उनकी जो नॉर्मल टैप रूट है वहां से कुछ रूट्स ऊपर की तरफ ग्रो होते हैं नॉर्मली रूट सॉइल की तरफ ग्रो होता है लाइट से अवे ये लोग दे आर ग्रोइंग टूवर्ड्स द लाइट इसलिए हम लोग ने बोला पॉजिटिवली फोटोट्रॉपिक लाइक स्पाइक्स स्पाइन्स और स्पाइक्स इफ यू यूज द स्पाइक्स यू आर बेटर ओके एंड दे शो द प्रेजेंस ऑफ स्मॉल ओपनिंग्स ऑन देम एंड दीस ओपनिंग्स आर कॉल्ड व्हाट लेंटिसेल्स एंड दीस लेंटिसेल्स हेल्प इन गैशियस एक्सचेंज एग्जांपल ऑफ दिस प्लांट्स इज व्हाट मैनग्रूव्स ओके एंड उसके अंदर अलग अलग फिर बोटैनिकल नेम्स है वन ऑफ देम आई रिटन इज राइजोफोरा देयर मेनी राइजोफोरा अबिसिनिया सोदरेटिया एरेटेरा बहुत सारे नाम आप एक याद रखो क्या नाम उसका हुज इंग्लिश कॉमन नेम इज मैनग्रूव्स एंड इन स्कूल में से वो है टाइप ऑफ रूट्स फॉर नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन सबको पता है रूट नोड्यूल्स जैसे गार्डन पी वगैरह का प्लांट है यू विल सी दैट दोस प्लांट्स On their roots will show the presence of as a nodules, फोड़ी जैसा फोड़ा वोड़ी को है ना These nodules, what do they contain? Bacteria like rhizobium, which help in the process of nitrogen fixation. So it's a symbiotic relationship. ये nodules है उसके अंदर एक bacteria रहता है वो bacteria plant को क्या fix करके देता है Atmospheric nitrogen. and the plant will give food and shelter in return so it's mutualism both of them get equally benefited or my point so those type of roots we have mentioned them as what over here for nitrogen fixation root nodules in plants like pea beans etc did you get it everyone yes yes or no so tap root got modified over here for how many purposes three purposes the first is Food storage, which helps in dash and dash. Use the word variation and. What about it? Now, depending upon dash, they are classified into four types. Primary, they can be classified as vertical, apiform, fusiform, and tuberous. Second type of modification is seen in. Plants growing in marshy areas. What are they called? Halophytes. Hello, right? and they show the presence of positively phototropic roots like conical spikes with openings called as lenticels that helps in gaseous exchange. Clear? Those roots are called nematophores. Example is mangroves. Okay, and within mangroves, we have written an example: Rhizobora. in adventitious roots the first say for food storage now depending upon the shape now see ha huh? jaise pehla wala plant hai uski stem hai and now look here adventitious roots get swollen okay do they have a definite shape or they don't have a definite shape no. don't have a definite shape so what the word i should use tuber But can I say here the tubers are present singly? A K K K tubers are. An example of that is Ipomia batatas. Who is I? Ipomia batatas, sweet potato. So sweet potato that we eat is a modification of adventitious root for food storage, which helps the plant in perennial and vegetative propagation. Unfavorable condition, the poor upper the plant will die. What will remain under the soil is the tuber. Return of the favorable condition में ये tuber के पास buds होंगे, growing points होंगे, और उन्हीं growing points में से क्या आएगा नया plant है. Did the class follow what I said? Yes. Yes or no, everyone? Yes. Then, fasciculated tubers में here these are growing in bundles. Bundles for fasciculi. इसलिए क्या word use किया है? fasciculated tubers example is what asparagus monoliform in monoliform the roots show the presence of beads monoliform matlab beaded aise beads dikhai dete hain okay beaded ka matlab hota hai monoliform okay example is spinach that is spinacea polaracea 
spinach. The fourth one, who is it? Nodulose root. In nodulose roots, the root is swollen at the tip. The root is swollen at the tip. So that is why we call it as what you Nodulose. Okay? So what are the different types depending upon their shapes? Irregular shape. They are called as root tubers. They are producing bunch, so they are called as what? Fasciculated. Then beaded, like beads, you know the beads? That is monoliform. The tip is swollen, that will be called nodulose. So you have what? Ipomia batatas, that is sweet potato. Then you have what? Asparagus, Spinacea oleracea, and curcuma amara. Under which root? Nodulose. You got it, everyone? Which is the second type over here? For mechanical support. support. Have you seen a banyan tree, everybody? Yes. Okay. And in the case of a banyan tree, can I see it has a very big canopy? What do you mean by canopy? Yes. Branches. So, in order to support the branches, the branches give out roots like pillars. Khamb. Okay. How do the root look like? Pillars. Okay. Kamba, okay, and <laughs> uh, I knew that I was going to come. <laughs> okay, so such roots are called which roots? Prop roots. Okay, what are the example of prop roots? Ficus banyanensis. That is banyan tree. Ficus banyanensis. Which tree? Banyan tree. Then, which have you mentioned? Stilt roots, okay. Now you all are familiar with sugarcane ka plant also, yes or no? Yes. Okay. Then, Nietzsche will show the presence of a fibrous root system. Yes. But in order to give extra support to the stem, you will find that there are certain roots which arise from the lower nodes. From the lower node, the blue in color. So if this is a sugarcane stem, नीचे के नोड्स में से चारों तरफ नॉर्थ साउथ ईस्ट वेस्ट ऐसे पूरे रूट्स होते हैं ताकि उसको स्टेम को नीचे से पकड़ के रखे ऐसे तो उस रूट्स को क्या बोलते हैं स्टिल्ट रूट्स पर हाउ आर दे अरेंज इन वर्ल्स वर्ल्स मतलब सर्कल्स दैट इज आई हैव कॉल्ड देम व्हाट वर्ल्स एग्जांपल ऑफ वर्ल्स इज व्हाट मेज शुगर केन स्टोवा अंडरस्टूड दिस पॉइंट एवरीबॉडी सो स्टिल्ट रूट्स दे गिव एक्स्ट्रा सपोर्ट Okay, in the case of maize, sugarcane and jawar, they arise from all the sides of the lower nodes. In the case of pandanus, we dusra plant hai, pandanus. Uska stem is slanting rehta So from the sides of the stem, it will result in the formation of stilt roots. Because already the plant shows the presence of an oblique stem. How is the stem? Oblique stem. So you want to give the stem extra support from the sides. So these roots of pandanus, what do you call them? Know? Stilt roots in walls or in sides? Sides. sides. Does anybody have money plant at home? Yes. Do we have money plant at home? Yes. Money plant is called pothos. How does go? Pothos. How are the roots of the money plant? Bolo. Can you see that are wiry? Yes. Like a telephone wire? Yes. Highly coiled? Yes. And whenever they get a support, they coil around it? Yes. Such roots are called which roots? Climbing yes. roots. Understood what is climbing roots? Yes. Because the stem is already weak. Money Pranaka stem is weak. And it wants to climb on supports. So the roots will be thin and wiry. And sensitive. Sensitive matlab, as soon as they touch a support, they will coil over it. So that will be climbing roots of Pothos and Piper Nigrum. Kalibich. Piper Nigrum. Understood? Yes or no? Give me yes or no. Yes. Okay. So this classification is for what function? Food storage. It will help in two functions. 
वेरिएशन है वही एडवांटेज सूट में वैसे एक फंक्शन आ गया यहां पे आया ना ये स्पेशल फंक्शन है फॉर गैशियस एक्सचेंज व्हिच इज कॉल्ड डिवाइडर सारे कांसेप्ट समझ में आ गया ओके ध्यान से इसको बंद करो लेट्स बी डीडी कैप नाउ ओके